one here at San Jose Municipal Stadium, marking Coach Ferraro's 700th career victory at the helm of his alma mater. Then I'll, I'll give that some thought. But it was a great gesture to have the president there and our athletic director and a nice fan support. So I was honored. Honored uh, is a better word. And obviously I'll cherish that for the rest of my life because it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful award. Um, obviously the second game, uh, Shopshire set the tone for, you know, just going out there and, and establishing himself, just being so dominant that we actually felt one run might win it. So the, the key there was Shopshire, obviously, his dominance, his, his uh, you know, command of every pitch he threw. He threw 100 pitches, 70 for strikes, but even the, some of the balls were by design. So that was probably as good a pitching performance as you're ever going to see. You're not going to see too many more games pitched as well. Uh, I mean, his changeup, breaking pitch, fastball. His fastball was diving. You know, it looked like they had a hole in their bat, but the ball was diving. Um, so once again, that's a big pickup for it. Uh, you know, uh, Shropshire did a great job today. He was wanted the ball in the second inning. We really needed him to step up today and uh, have a good game for us. Once again, he had all three pitches going for strikes, fastball, slider, changeup. I could throw it at any time in the count, you know, 2-0, oh, we'll go change up. You know, they're expecting fastball, and then just they swing right over it. Uh, to lefties, they don't expect a slider coming, and uh, we get that slider over for a strike. Um, you know, his fastball was, was running today really, really well. Uh, he was spotting up, and he did a great job. I, was, I don't even think Craig Hurtler filled the ball today. And, you know, when you can do that, you, you put the pressure off your defense, and your offense can just do their job, and they don't have to focus on anything else. Uh, you know, I'm proud of Shop and uh, proud of uh, what he did today, and we really needed that. It was clutch. Yeah, um, you know, uh, when Tyler Hall came in, he gave us a chance to win, you know. He kept the game five to two, I believe, at the time. And uh, John came up with a big home run, make it five to three. Uh, you know, without the team, you know, my head doesn't mean anything. You know, they got on base. Uh, Silver had a great at bat scoring that run, and John actually had another good at bat getting that first RBI in that inning. So yeah, without them, you know, we couldn't win this game. Yeah, uh, you know, Bona battles every time he goes up there, and you know, you're gonna get something good uh, whenever he's up at the plate. And for Silver, that's the best at bat I've ever seen here. You know, he being a freshman, coming in, um, getting that ball in the air and get that run in, you know, he, he has a lot of, uh, you know, he should have a lot of pride in what he did. So that was in the ninth inning for San Jose State, three runs, three hits, one Fresno State arrow, one runner left on base. The Spartans rally in the bottom of the ninth. They split the series with the Bulldogs. The final score today, San Jose State six, Fresno State five. Gets the win and relief. And Kyle Bellow with the game winning hit. A double to right center field to bring in pitch runner Michael Reeling all the way from first base. On San Jose State Athletics. Go to the website. SJSUSpartans.com. That's SJSUSpartans.com, the official website of Spartan Athletics.